This week we're talking dating right here on Living Local, and unfortunately we know that problems and differences in relationships arise and divorce can become the topic of discussion in some relationships. Some common reasons for divorce are getting married for the wrong reasons, lack of individual identity, the intimacy disappears, money troubles and secrets, and maybe not having a shared vision of success. That's a long, long a list long right list there. Of yeah. problems there. Some couples report children, although a blessing can be a strain on the relationship, so we comprise the list on how to keep your marriage or relationship alive and to respark that flame. So we're talking ways to keep the romance alive in your relationship. Yes, and so we've got six things you should know. And when it comes to romance, um, number our number one today, you can't forget the reason you were attracted to each other in the first place. And getting to your significant other is still really important in marriage. You can't forget the date night. Yeah, it's the perfect time for a quiet conversation and a night without the kids. Hire a babysitter, spend quality time with one another. Even the simplest dates can rekindle why you fell in love in the first place. Sweet. And number two on our list, did you know that we all have a love language? Uh, discovering your partner's or your own love language can be as easy as downloading an app. Yeah, the five love Love languages include words of affirmation, giving gifts, acts of service, quality time, and physical touch. These are ways to help you learn how your partner wants to be loved. The Love Nudge app for couples helps you set and meet each other's goals, and it's completely free. There's truly an app for everything. There is an app for anything. Do you know your love language? I have no idea. All right, we're going to download that. We're going to figure Skittles. it out. You give me Skittles. I love you. <laughs> that's, that's pretty much it. And so you've had a bad day and you decided you don't want to talk about it. Well, researchers say sometimes a love potion may be the best medicine. A study done at the University of Arizona recruited romantic couples for a series of experiments and participants had to dunk their feet in freezing cold water for several minutes. This made everyone's blood pressure spike a little I bit. I would imagine it would, but those who were able to have their partner in the room with them had lower spikes than couples who were separated. The same was true for couples who simply imagined their partner's face. Pain also decreased when the couples were able to face the icy water together, so it's okay to talk to your spouse about anything. You'll feel better afterwards. That's kind of insane. <laughs> that is really, that is weird, the mind. <laughs> yes, it's a very powerful and while useful to get the children out of the house after school activities can actually hurt your family. A study published in the European Physical Education Review finds that young people can become too exhausted racing between activities. Researchers at, at York University find almost six in ten students do more than one activity per evening. Yeah, the number of clubs and sports kids participate in can also put financial strain on parents, potentially putting marriages at risk. Try to limit these activities to the ones most important to the child and get to know parents within the club so you can, your child can carpool with people that you trust. And number four on our list to get away is sometimes best when trying to escape the stress of daily life and can ease tension in your relationship. And good news, a trip to Europe this summer will be the cheapest they've been in three years. According to flight tracking app Hopper, the average cost of a flight to Europe during the peak summer travel will be $909. And uh, there goes the prompter. You book now, you may be still <laughs> able to get in on spring flight deals, which Hopper says averages about $637 round trip. To Europe? That's I'm kind of insane. I'm going to Montana. What? This summer, all this and craziness. my ticket was more than that. Okay, well, cancel Montana and go to Europe. I'm going to Europe now. <laughs> I'll go with you. And last but not least, in a healthy relationship, communication is definitely key. And when you understand your partner better, you can resolve conflict successfully and develop a healthy, mature relationship. And while conflict is normal, it can also be a sign that parts of your relationships relationship aren't working. So try setting boundaries. Everyone deserves to be treated with respect even during an argument and find the real issue. Typically arguments happen when one partner's wants are not being met. Try to get to the heart of the matter. Agree to disagree. Sometimes it's best to drop it. You can't agree on everything. Compromise when possible and it's a major part of conflict resolution and any successful relationship. Mm, lots of good advice. It sure we have was. a really cool date night coming up and so also stick around. I try to revolutionary therapy that does wonders for your back and I'm telling you all about it after the break. Stay with us.